Welcome to the first top 10 series for Dragon's Dogma. The response from the community have been amazing and we have some really cool videos ready for you guys. Huge thanks to everyone submitting their clips and let's jump right in at number 10. Starting off the list is a clip from P. Sherman taking on a griffin outside Grand Soren. It almost manages to get away, but he chases it down and fire off a really impressive long range shot for the finisher. At number 9 we have a submission from the Pawned Pawn fighting Arch Hydra. You rarely see these kinds of battles, and this turns out rather cinematic with all the fire effects and heads flying off left and right. The Hydra is one of the more interesting enemies to fight out there. It's a great challenge and this is also a showcase of how strong the animations still are for this 8 year old game. Next up is a clip from Austin Shelton fighting a chimera at really low health. Despite the odds and pitch black darkness, he managed to keep his cool and finish off the battle with a well-timed perfect blow. <laughs> Eat shit! SPVK starts off with him escaping a grab attack just in time. He is using an ice enchanted sword and sheltered assault to quickly freeze the executioner. He now have a window of opportunity to deal double damage. He managed to defeat the enemy at really low level and finish with style. Fredericks of Cursewood have positioned himself at a great vantage point where he can safely juggle a group of living armors with Maelstrom. It's a hilarious sight, but it also shows how powerful a team of sorcerers can be when they start syncing their spells in harmony. At number 5, Gamma V is taking on a condemned Gore Cyclops. With good spacing and precise attacks, he takes it down pretty fast and quickly mounts the head for maximum damage. A swift and efficient kill, and he finish off the fight with a 10 out of 10 landing. This clip from Sean Lars show off the incredible power of level 3 skills. In this case, Flame Shroud, the upgraded version of Immolation. It's one of the fastest daemon kills I have ever seen, and the whole fight takes less than 2 minutes. Uriel Alvarenga is showcasing a super fast and efficient Frostworm kill, breaking horns for Stagger, followed up with Knockdown, and ends the battle in less than 30 seconds. The number 2 spot goes to Infinite Cringe, showcasing the power of Demon's Wrath and some real repost skills in action. With great control of the battlefield, they take down all enemies using only the shield and finish the fight with one of the most satisfying triple kills I have ever seen. I take my hat off for Infinite Cringe, who have managed to bring the Dogma community together once more with their light-hearted content and great personality. And I really hope that our channels combined can bring Dragon's Dogma to even greater heights in the coming year. And at number 1 we have an incredible showcase of luck, quick thinking and skill. Matt the man realizes his opportunity for a very special kill. He rush over and start bringing death's health down with control. He then runs over to the rock to activate animation and we can now witness one of the most satisfying ways of killing the Grim Reaper himself. It was really fun making this top 10 video, and if you want to get involved next time, the topic then will be top 10 strange moments. It can be any fun, weird or glitchy moment. Upload your clip to YouTube and send the link to riftstonegaming at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.